This time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs, some of Louisville's best food, not coming from a restaurant, but one of Louisville's top caterers in town. We're invited to a party with Ladyfingers, and we're going behind the scenes to see how it's done, from decorative pieces to tasty Kentucky-themed small plates. It's party time, right now on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Hi everyone, Kevin Harned with you again for another edition of Secrets, and this time it's a VIP affair. We're going into the kitchen at Ladyfingers Catering where they're rolling out the red carpet so you can learn the secrets to throwing a fantastic party. Over the years, Ladyfingers has become one of Louisville's premier catering companies, serving food at all kinds of parties, from small backyard get-togethers to huge high-profile events. I know your busiest season has to be Derby and Thunder Time. Different menus, different parties, all in the same day. We serve about 7,000 people at Thunder Over Louisville, um, a variety of different sites. We work with the Derby Festival. Uh, we've uh, fed all the police in Louisville on that day, as well as uh, events for uh, major corporations like LG&E that has a small party of about 3,500. Deborah Lowry is one of the owners and founders of Lady Fingers, and she's planning a party just for us. Little bites, little plates, it's a very large variety. We'll get the secrets to making these, seared scallops with cheese grits and bourbon Mornay sauce. It's amazing. Plus, potato tartans infused with a different kind of Kentucky flavor. See some of the cheese in there, that country ham? Absolutely. And want to learn the secrets to turning a melon into a masterpiece? We'll show you. We try to make sure everything you get not only looks beautiful, but also tastes good. And it's stuff that you can actually recognize when you see it. It's not hard to recognize this meat and potatoes, right? But this is bourbon braised brisket with truffle mash. Oh, we made our way into the kitchen here. I'm here with Chef D, uh, Danilo Carrillo. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you again. One of my favorite things has to be the brisket that you all make. And you're going to show us how to do that today. We do a little twist to the bourguignons. Uh, we make a bourbon. It's called bourbon bourguignon. We got a nice piece of brisket here. Put a lot of salt pepper on it. After you do that, you're going to sear the meat. And that way, the meat keep all the juice inside, all right? All right. It's going to be about four or five minutes. When you see the size here, you can see all the browns coming from the meat. You're going to flip the meat to the other side. And you sear the other side, all right? And we have other items as well, the mirepoix that you have. Yeah, the mirepoix, there's the onions, the carrots, and the celery. We're going to add a little bit of tomato paste. The spices uh, with your wine and your bourbon is the flavor for your beef, okay? See, everything in the bottom of the pan is coming, coming out. Man, it smells fantastic. And now you add your bourbon. Okay, you have, you need to have to be careful because sometimes they put in fire. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back. Yes. <laughs> See all that? Working nice and beauty here. That's flavor. Yes. You can smell the bourbon, you can smell the red wine. We're going to use a fresh tarragon, fresh parsley, and a bay leaf, and garlic. Beef broth. You need a lot of liquid here because they're going to cook a long time in the oven. If not, they're going to get dry and you can burn this a little bit. Cover this with foil. Okay. They're going to throw in the oven. They're going to be in the oven for about three or four hours. You what, got it. What temperature? Um, the oven. I was just cook about 350 degrees, 350. So it's been about three hours, Chef. Uh, TV time, of course, but we've had a uh, brisket in here cooking, and now it's time to bring it out and um, we go on show service. us the goods here. You gotta be careful with the steam coming out. Oh, this is why man. you got them. Are you kidding me? I could gobble it up right now, but there's more to the dish, including the bourbon beef gravy. The chef makes that by melting butter with flour and adding in some of the liquid from the braising process. Yeah, nice and rich. He makes some pretty rich potatoes, too. We're gonna take some of this 
Truffle oil? Go easy on the truffle oil. A little goes a long way. Now here's a secret that some people may not know. You're putting this in what most people Enough. would call a pastry bag. Pastry bag. All right. Slice your brisket. Bourbon burgundy on sauce. We top the meat with it. So that's it, a ladyfinger special right Lady here. Ladyfinger special. The beef bourbon it, it really is fall apart on the fork. Kind of good. Mm. Beef plus. All right, delicious. thank you. Yeah, it really is fantastic. We have more secrets to share with Secrets of Louisville Chefs from Ladyfingers coming up. Later on, Chef D reveals the secrets to how he infuses the flavor of bourbon in scallops. More bourbon for you. <laughs> Plus, the tricks to turning a melon into a work of art. Rose cut into a watermelon. It's all still ahead on this special red carpet edition of Secrets. Welcome back to this special edition of Secrets of Louisville Chefs. This time, it's truly a red carpet affair. I'm Kevin Harnett, going behind the scenes of an amazing party catered by Ladyfingers. Oh, it's amazing to spread the food. So I can't wait to see all the stars show up on the red carpet. Earlier, Chef D showed us how to make his bourbon brisket with truffled mashed potatoes. Now, here's something that's even easier to make. Well, we're back in the kitchen at Ladyfingers Catering with Chef Martin Ball. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. You know, we've had a ball, <laughs> no, no pun intended, you learning about it. all of the secrets in the kitchen here. You have a dish we're going to prepare here that can be used as either an appetizer or a side item. These are called potato tartans. Yes, sir. We start off with hash browns. These are easy to find. They're in the freezer section, I know, if you want to buy them already. Yes, that's, uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can buy them, defrost them, important. Get all the water out, let them drain. This is easy. Season the potatoes with salt and pepper, then start loading them up. Country ham. We will go ahead and dump our cheese. We've got the smoked gouda, the country ham, a little salt and pepper, the hash browns, and now? Now we'll go one part egg, heavy whipping cream. Get all that in there. Mix it around really good. Now you're ready to bake. We're gonna put it in the uh, molds. Plenty of spray. You don't want them to stick. You don't want to rain the form of them. All right. Fill up your molds on how many you desire. And once we're finished here, that goes into the oven. Goes into the oven. What settings? 350. At home, it will be about 22 minutes. Okay. Yes. Let's see what they look like. Oh, man. Nice and golden brown. Nice, yes, nice golden brown. Pop out nice and easy. Yes, as long as you use plenty of spray. I suppose that a number of ingredients can be put in this. Absolutely, Kevin. During the holidays, you can use sweet potatoes, shred up sweet potatoes, and uh, go with that theme. Some Raisins, pecans on pecans, top. Oh roasted pecans. Can I take a taste? Absolutely. See some of the cheese in there, that country ham? Absolutely. No wonder it's a crowd favorite. There you go. 30 minutes cook prep time. You've got this. Every party should have this. Absolutely. It is delicious. I don't know what they did to it, but it is like magic. Well, that's easy to do when you know the secrets. Martin, thank you. Thank you Appreciate all. Appreciate that. Awesome. You know, everything Ladyfinger serves at a party is delicious, but there's one other thing that's appealing, and that's the way it looks. Bobby Brooks is here. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. One of the things that I can remember for the last decade plus is when you walk into an event catered by Ladyfingers, you know it right away because you can tell by looking. And part of that has to do with what you're going to show us today. Um, what we have today is a rose cut into a watermelon. You've carved out one side of it, and now the other side you've just kind of taken down. For a rose, we're not going to use any green. 
and you basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna carve out and get down to the, the white layer and it almost makes a light pink. So as you cut down into it and you're gonna do your whole area like that as you start in and you come back through to cut and expose your red. And as you cut down into it, each petal is going to get a little bit bigger and you're going to cut a little bit wider on your second cut to expose a little bit more red and give it a little more depth. I, I could imagine that this takes a tremendous amount of time. The first couple days. <laughs> the first couple you'll spend a couple hours on. Yeah. But I've probably got it down to about 15 or 20 minutes. Is for that a right? A little 8 inch cake pan and if you want to put a cloth or something underneath it. So when you set it in there, it'll keep it nice and firm for safety reasons, keep you from cutting yourself and moving on you too bad. Doing nice little triangle cuts on your green will help create your outline and kind of finish it up and clean it up. And they just pop right out. So there you have it, the secrets to making a rose right out of a watermelon. There you go. Good thought. <laughs> That's very talented. That takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of artistic ability. Bobby, thank you. You're welcome. And stick around, because later on, Bobby's coming back with the secrets to another Ladyfinger signature, the Ladyfinger cookie. Yeah. And up next, more secrets from Chef D. How to infuse bourbon into seared scallops. It looks fabulous. Look good, tastes better. <laughs> More of our secrets, red carpet special, coming up. Kevin Harnett back with you on this special red carpet edition of Secrets of Louisville Chefs. We've been learning the secrets to tasty small plates created by Ladyfingers Catering. Awesome, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the name Ladyfingers came from, uh, first of all, the fact that we were owned by all ladies, uh, myself being the owner, and my only two or three employees were also ladies. Uh, and also, I have a family background that is in the bakery business and the Italian restaurant business, and I wanted to represent our heritage and Lady Fingers happens to be a pastry, uh, so that's where the name came up. We'll get the secrets to making Lady Fingers coming up, but first, something else on the savory side of the menu. All right, well, we're back here in the kitchens at Lady Fingers Catering with Chef D, and uh, we're gonna make a nice scallop dish. And even though the scallops are fresh from the ocean, they're gonna wind up with a lot of Kentucky flavor. You guessed it in the form of bourbon. Delicious. The secrets to this dish start with the scallops. Now that's a secret, what are you doing there? This is the, the little like mussel they, they, where the scallop is attached to the shell. Okay. And that's kind of rubbery, you don't want that in your food, all right? Take so this away. you pinch that off. Yeah, you pinch this off. We're okay. gonna use a little bit of bourbon sea salt here and a little bit of pepper. We're going to do both sides. With that, the scallops go into a saute pan with some very hot oil. We're going to have a nice sear in the scallop. And that's the key with searing. It just really keeps, traps those Hit juices everything. in. Yes, sir. So we're going to flip this one. We got a nice brown. All that sear. And there's more bourbon flavor to add to the dish. Watch as Chef D reveals the secrets to his bourbon mornay sauce. Bourbon mornay, more bourbon for you. <laughs> All right, well, it's you gotta... a Kentucky themed party, so oh, it's yes. only fitting, right? Yes, sir. You gotta, my heavy cream, bourbon, a little salt and pepper. He also adds a hint of nutmeg and thickens it by stirring in a roux, which is a mix of flour and butter. That will go on top of the scallops. And on the bottom, Ladyfinger's Parmesan cheese grits. Here's the secrets to making that. It's pretty much like chicken broth, butter, and I'm gonna have some of the, I'm gonna add the grits in there. I'm gonna make a little garlic. 
I want to use some heavy cream, give it nice richness and creamy. And we want to let it cook a little bit. So the grits, I can already tell it's thickening up yeah, just a bit. Yeah, it up and so. Next here in my grits, I'm going to have Parmesan cheese. We do all the nice Parmesan flavor. We got the grits here, it's nice and creamy. We're going to do the plate here. Parmesan grits. Grits on the plate. I'm we'll bring the scallop here. Boy, the grits look fantastic. Those scallops are the perfect color. Now they come in the Mornay sauce. Bourbon Mornay. It's the Parmesan cheese grits with the scallop and supper. Mind if I take a taste? Good? It's really good. All right, thank you. Very good, thank you. It's delicious. It's amazing. Well, it couldn't be a party without dessert, and what better dessert to serve than a Ladyfinger from Ladyfinger's Catering. Bobby Brooks is back with us, and Bobby, we have a few ingredients here. Seems like the ingredients are pretty simple, but it's really the toppings or what will go on after they're cooked that really makes these things kind of come to life. Ladyfingers are so versatile. They're used in uh, trifles, they're used in Charlotte Roots. You can use them for anything. And what are they? Basically made of just eggs, flour, baking powder, and sugar. With four eggs, you take your yolks and separate your whites. You're going to mix two tablespoons of sugar with your egg whites. Beat them until they turn into stiff peaks. Then you're going to take your uh, egg yolks and the rest of your sugar, and you're going to beat them until it's nice and thick. Okay. He adds a mix of flour and baking powder into the whipped egg yolks, and then begins folding in the egg whites. So this is something you just really just dive in with your hands and do. You don't need to. Just a... get in there and get it done. And we're going to throw it in a pastry bag. And we're going to pipe it out to get our finger shape. A little parchment paper. Thumb down. Preheat your oven 400 degrees. And uh, when you get there, it's about eight minutes. And you'll see a nice golden brown Lady finger come out of the oven. About eight minutes. Second phase is decorating them and deciding right. what you're going to do with them. You can uh, put a filling in the middle of them, like a raspberry. That looks delicious. It's even more delicious when you dip it in chocolate. You can do a white chocolate and coconut. You make that look so easy. Can I try one? Put a lot on it. All right, and maybe a little hazelnut. hazelnut. I'm going to add a little more coconut. There you go. I'm getting fancy on you. Absolutely. No, I'm not. Mine aren't turning out quite as good as yours, <laughs> but all right. This would be somewhat of the finished product here. Finished product. Absolutely. Little sprinkles. That looks fantastic. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. We want to thank Bobby, Chef D, Martin, Lisa, Deborah, and everyone at Lady Fingers for sharing their secrets. Hope you enjoyed the party as much as we have. I'm Kevin Harnett, and for all of us at b, &B Productions, we'll see you next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. <laughs>